Well, this is one of the things which you have been looking at in many of the earlier sections. Let us now see this, which is expenditure on scientific research. Now, India as a country definitely needs a lot of scientific research because why? We are dependent on overseas countries for our technical collaborations and all those. The downside to that is that you have to pay a lot of money for all these technological assistance that you get. So in order to promote scientific research among industries, there is an advantageous scheme or rather there is an advantage which is given under the Income Tax Act. We know that capital expenditure is normally capitalized, a very strange statement, but that's the way it is. So, and you get depreciation on that. You're not allowed the entire cost of capital expenditure in the year in which you incur it. But that's not the case in case you incur any expenditure on scientific research. What are the provisions? Let's now see them one by one. There would be two kinds of expenditure that you might be incurring on scientific research. One is revenue and one is capital. Now, let's see the revenue one. Incurred within three years immediately preceding the date of commencement of business shall be allowed in the previous year in which the business is commenced to the extent certified by prescribed authority. Let's say Or maybe let me take a new page. Suppose I commenced my business on 1-4-2010, which is financial year 10-11. This section, which is section 35, provides that any expenditure incurred during the preceding three financial year, which is before 10, what will be are 10 9 9 8, 8 7. So whatever expenditure of a revenue nature that you have incurred during these three previous financial years will also be allowed as a deduction provided or to the extent it is certified by prescribed authority. So to the extent certified by prescribed authority even these three years revenue expenditure that you incurred prior to this will be carried forward. Balance, if any, to be carried forward. Suppose in the first year you don't have sufficient income to carry it forward or to set it off, then let's say in this example, suppose your income during financial year 10 11 was only 1 lakh 60,000 or let's say 150. What is the total of this? Total is 160. So 10,000 will be carried forward. Okay. How about capital expenditure? So incurred during the previous year, whatever you incur during the previous year, you get as a deduction. In any case, revenue beyond this means the regular revenue expenditure in any case is allowed as a deduction. Capital expenditure incurred within three years immediately preceding the commencement of business in which the previous year in which the business is commenced. Again, this is something similar to this. For capital expenditure incurred during the three years preceding this year, also you get a deduction. No deduction is admissible in respect of expenditure incurred on acquisition of any land. So if you acquire any piece of land for the purpose of scientific research business, that is not allowed as a deduction. Okay. And the other thing that you need to note here is
this white color might not okay amount equal to 125% of any sum paid to certain bodies approved by the central government and Indian companies to be used by it for scientific research is also allowed as a deduction. So if you incur 100 instead of 100, you get a deduction of 125. And what are these bodies in all? The list of that is there in a separate video that you can refer. However, there are certain conditions which have to be satisfied that you must refer. 